Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen. I just made it to the Jackson Kayak Plant. I'm picking up a brand new boat, brand new on the market. Um, I'm one of the first people to get it. And uh, let me introduce you to it. It's a really, really cool kayak that I've been excited about for quite a long time. And no, it's not a pedal drive. <laughs> Look at this crazy weather. Whew. Left home this morning. It was uh, 38 degrees. Got here and it's 19 and snowing and accumulating. And I'm going to try to grab this kayak real quick and throw it on the truck and be on my way. So let's have some fun. I got my fluffy crocs today. <laughs> awesome. It's my winter crocs. How you doing? Easy enough. Now I'm gonna go over to the loading bay and, uh, and drop off a, a Kusa HD and pick up a Liska. I can't wait, man. This weather's getting bad though. I gotta hurry and get back down south before uh, before the roads get too bad. But luckily the uh, the salt trucks and the brine trucks and the snow plows are out in force on the way up here. So as long as I stay off the of back roads, I should be good. Well, that was a lot faster than I thought it would be. Uh, I usually like to stay and walk around and look at the new stuff and and uh, talk to folks, but uh, I got to get out of this weather before it gets too bad and, uh, and get home, get this thing rigged up. And that's what we're gonna do next. When I get home, we're gonna rig it up, uh, even though the weather's bad. And, uh, and I'll talk a little bit about what it is and why it was designed and and who, uh, who the heck is Liska? warehouse to pick up some stuff along the way. Right. Let's get my butt home before it gets too cold and everything sticks on the roads. I may not do it when I get home, but we'll see. Depending on the weather, I'm going to get home and try to uh, try to uh, rig up this kayak. If not, I will, uh, I'll do it when I get down to Florida. Either way, you guys are going to see it. You know, it's kind of a little basic kayak, so it's, uh, it's pretty neat to be able to rig it up and show you guys what you can do with, uh, with this new boat. Got out of the weather, drove through Atlanta. Uh, I think it was more the drivers that didn't know how to drive in the snow than it was anything. So that was kind of a rough trip. But we got down here to Bienville Plantation for the KBF or Kayak Bass Fishing Top 10 Tournament and the KBF Members Only Tournament that's down here at Bienville every year. 
And so what we're doing right now is I'm gonna walk you through the, the new uh, Liska and kind of show you how I've got it rigged up. All right, so first of all, the Liska is just the little brother of the Mayfly. And you guys know how much I love the Mayfly. Absolutely love paddling this boat. But the Liska is just a little bit shorter at 11 foot one inches, I believe. And uh, the hull is, ex is shaped exactly the same. And of course you can tell that the, the top is, is totally different. So let's run through the top real quick. Start from the front, go to the back. Uh, changed my, my little carabiner for my anchor trolley or my anchor wizard uh, over to this boat. It's got a nice big old hatch, deep stuff. You can put stuff in here. I've got my little Yolo Tech battery pack in there. Uh, batteries run to my fish finder. A lot of, you can tell with all these little channels and stuff around here how well it drains. Nice big open front deck. I'm excited about getting out of there, out here out on the water and trying this out. And then this center, little center hatch that we got going on right here is uh, it's where you store all your fish finder stuff. Uh, you'd store a fish finder battery in there if my pack would fit. Um, you could just put one of those standard 12 volt batteries that'll fit in there just fine. I just throw my uh, my leader material, my extra line. This is uh, where the transducer goes down in. There's a scupper hole right here in the center. I don't know if you guys can see it because I've got it, everything rigged up. And I'll do a video before I leave this week about how to how I rig my uh, transducer in my kayak. But anyway, so you can see right here, it's got uh, uh, the wires and everything else hanging out and I've got a little backing. But underneath, this thing I flip it without turning anything off the boat. Underneath down there is a scupper hole that's designed just to hold your transducer. So that's kind of how that works out. And then you got a, a piece of uh, Yak Attack gear track in the center that uh, holds your transducer or holds your uh, fish finder in the middle. And then I've got my camera mount, my little Yak Attack camera mount. I couldn't do this without Yak Attack. It is, uh, there's a ton of really cool things I put on my kayak that, that help me to film, help me to fish. And uh, Yak Attack pretty much saves all, you know, saves me having to build stuff out of PVC. All right, so what we have here is we have the Yak Attack, new Yak Attack uh, rod holder. I'll do another video about that. I'm still, I just got it, I'm just testing it out, but it's supposed to be a really, really, really cool base, really cool rod holder. More gear track down the side of the boat. Uh, little gear tracks right here. This is one of the things I don't like about the boat is this gear track is too small. It's uh, It needs to be about twice as long, maybe even three times as long because I put a lot of stuff along the side of the the uh, seat because my paddle doesn't really hit the things that I put right there. So, But a good high seat, I'm pretty sure that'll be pretty comfortable. Lots of room in the back to put you know, soft plastics. My soft plastics will actually go under the seat and my camera box will go right there. And then here's my camera stand. My black pack with all my tackle in it. Plenty of room. Uh, another decent uh, gear track back here. I still would like to see them longer. It is what it is. So I put this little Yak Attack mount. These are actually two mighty mounts with screws in it. And then a ram, ram mount on the top and it holds my pole. My camera stand. I got the power pole sitting in the back. Uh, all of Jackson's kayaks are our, our power pole ready. And then moving on front on up. This is a, uh, a ram tube that I modified a little bit to be able to hold this uh, this net tight. Just locks down in there real quick. It locks in, doesn't move, doesn't fall out. Uh, this is what I changed on it. This is one of the big things. Because this, uh, this um, gear track isn't long enough, I put the new Mighty Mount uh, XL. Uh, on there so I could hold my anchor wizard. This is where I put my anchor wizard to bring my anchor up and down It gets it stays out of the way of paddling and everything else and the Mighty Mount XL was excellent was perfect for that So that's kind of the the big change of it is I just mounted that on there and that it's got like eight screws Four on one side four on the other so it's not going anywhere just had to tap a drill a, a, a pilot hole and run the screws through these are uh you know the the cloth handles so you got to watch these these will get hooks in them and stuff like that so you got to be careful of that good long gear tracks up front i don't really use those because they kind of get in the way of fishing because i don't put much up there except for that rod holder right there so i kind of wish something that size was back here but uh, all in all i'm excited to get out on here and try it out now another thing i did that i forgot about is i, I removed the pedals i don't really use the the, the foot rests uh that much i i tend to sit uh, Indian style most of the time when I'm paddling. So I got rid of those, give me some more deck space, get more stuff out of the way of if I've got a fish on the deck and flopping around, things like that. But uh, all in all, so far so good. It was really, really easy to set up. Um, 
you know I, I require a whole lot more stuff on my kayak because of filming than uh, than most people do so um, it's a little bit heavier but the the boat itself uh, it's like 89 pounds or 85 pounds it's in the 80s so it's a fairly light boat um, it's got the right hole that I like I love the hole that's on the mayfly and it's the same exact hole so it should track well it should uh, it should paddle well. It should be really stable. I can't wait to get in to stand up and see if it really, really is as stable as it is. I got a bunch of people asking me questions about it, but uh, I'm excited. So let's get out on the water, go do an initial impression of the paddle, and uh, and go from there. second impressions not quite as stable as the as the mayfly it is shorter um, but it's not bad I mean it really isn't a lot better than some of the other ones I've been in over the years so really not nothing to be concerned about but it is not as stable as the mayfly which is what I expected and uh, but uh, feels good, a lot of foot room. I may play around with the seat, you know, play around whether the seat's up or down or, or forward or backwards, see if I can get, the, get it to, uh, to track right. Not track right, but get it to, uh, to go the way I like it anyway. Just paddle it around. Real easy to get going. It's definitely not a big rig. Those things are big. It tracks well. It's a, uh, I mean, it feels like a pretty dang good kayak. Now let's see what it'll do if I stand up. I didn't put the, uh, didn't put the stand assist strap in, so it's not beyond to use the back of the seat. I don't like to. What happens if you use the back of the seat all the time is you end up tearing it. And really, uh, the, uh, the strap, especially back here on the back of the seat, will tear because you're pushing off of it all the time but just for the day I'm gonna be careful and do it that's not bad really not it's got it's got halfway decent primary stability now primary stability is of course the initial stability how far it rocks back and forth when you just put weight on one side or the other Secondary stability is when you leave weight on that side and it stays there and it just, you know, you'll, you'll go in, go in, and all of a sudden it'll stop and it won't want to go any further. So this, the difference between the primary stability or the distance between the primary stability and the secondary stability is very, very small, which I really like. Um, I was in the, um, the CUDA HD and it's got amazing secondary stability, but the, di the, the difference between or the, the distance between uh, the the boat being level and that secondary stability was so much that it just felt weird to me I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It just felt really weird to me. So uh, a lot of people like that CUDA I didn't it just wasn't a kayak for me But this one Really it just leans that far it hits its secondary stability So you literally could change while you're sitting on the bank or sit standing up You could you could stand on one foot or the other and really not have a problem. So I uh, wish I had a zoom camera guys. There's a giant alligator sitting right there on the bank sunning itself I'm gonna let it stay warm. I'm not gonna go mess with it. This lake has got a ton of alligators in it, but uh But yeah, it should be hopefully it'll be pretty pretty awesome Well, I really didn't mean for this video to be like a a review of a kayak I guess it ended up being that way but to be honest with you this is you know for thirteen hundred and fifty dollars um, this is a pretty good kayak it's got you know it's a Jackson it's 
it's going to be high quality it's going to be you know really good plastic it's going to be, it's going to be stout it's not going to you know it's going to last you a long time so um and i think that at that price point it's it's well worth the price i uh I'm impressed. I really am. It's one of those that I feel like it's light enough to where I can drag it through the woods, you know, grab my, my tow strap, throw it on the boat and drag it through the woods to these backwoods little places to, to, uh, to just whack fish that haven't seen lures in forever. So, um, it's good on right now. It's good on lakes. I haven't tried it on a river yet, but like I said, I really didn't mean this to be a review. It's more of an introduction to a brand new boat, but, uh, it's the Liska. It's, uh, it's, it's a great boat. It really is. But uh, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out of the water. Go ahead and catch some fish. Have a great day. We'll see you.